Retained cyberdogs and citizens of the internet, and welcome to yet another episode of Let's Play Hearthstone with me, Ren Diggity Dog. In the previous episode, we managed to defeat the four horsemen, which was awesome. And in this episode, my friends, we're going to continue on the Curse of Naxxramas adventure to see if we can finish off those last few quarters. Sit back and relax, my cyber diggity dogs. Let's sling some freaking cards. And to start off today's episode, as always, guys, we're going to be cracking open some packs. So without further ado, Plasma Goo of Awesomeness, give us something awesome. Bam! Come on, baby. All right, let's have a look at what we got, guys. Did we, We've got a blue over there. We've got a purple over there. And the rest are common. So let's open these bad boys. Silver Moon Guardian, Divine Shield, 3-3 three, three for 4. Not too shabby. One mana, Repentance. When a p opponent plays a minion, reduce its health to 1. For the Paladin, we've already faced this in uh, the Naxxramas adventure. It was pretty good. Then we got another Spellbreaker, which is cool because we can uh, actually transmute that thing. All right, let's open the blue one first. Give us something sweet. Come on, baby. Angry Chicken. <laughs> Enrage plus five attack. Damn. And it's a 1-1 one, one beast. So that, that could be pretty good for our beast deck, man. Plus it's a chicken. So that's pretty cool. And our last purple card, my friends, is a Biome Kidnapper. Combo return a minion to its owner's hand for six mana. Well, I, I guess it's good because it's purple. It doesn't seem very good to me, but... Oh, it's a 5-3. Never mind. Yeah, it is pretty damn good. All right, well, that's a pretty good pack to open, guys. I'm quite happy with that, man. Let's open one more pack for today. Come on, Plasma of Goodness. Bam! And let's see what we crack open, guys. Let's have a look. Common, we've got a blue. We have got one blue and five commons. So that's awesome. <laughs> Amani Berserker, we know your ass. We've got a Sense Demons for the Warlock. Put two random demons from your deck into your hand. We've already got a couple of those. We've got another Snipe. Actually, that's really good. I wouldn't mind another snipe from my hunter deck, actually. And we pick up a conceal, give your minion stealth until your next turn for one mana. Seems pretty good for the rogue. Let's crack open our blue card, guys. Yeah. Bam! A light warden for one mana, a one, two, whenever a character is healed, gain plus two attack. Wow, that seems pretty good for our priest deck, for like a, an, an aggressive priest deck. I kind of like that. And while we're at it, guys, let's open one more pack, man. <laughs> it's so addictive. I just got to crack these packs open. Bam! Let's see what we get, man. So we've got a blue or a rare. Okay, so we've got one rare and uh, four uncommon. So let's crack these babies open. Freezing trap for the hunter. Not bad. I think we've got a couple of those already. Uh, young dragon hawk for the hunter deck, which is pretty good. Shield bearer, not zero. Four taunt for one. Not a bad card at all. And another shield bearer. Oh, God. All right, let's open up our blue, guys. Hold your freaking paws. Let's hope we get something Man. sweet. Bam! Blizzard for the mage. Deal two damage to all enemy minions and freeze them. Well, that doesn't seem too bad. Seems like a pretty good card. Well, that was some sweet ass pack cracking for today, guys. I'm pretty happy with that. What I want to do today, actually, is start off our very first battle as the hunter. Uh, we've been using the Pope deck for quite a while now, and I kind of want to switch things up a bit. And uh, we just picked up another snipe, and I'm kind of keen to play with this snipe. I've adjusted our hunter deck slightly since the last time you guys saw it. I've added in the Haunted Creeper that we picked up from the Nax Ramus adventure. I think this is a pretty good card, man. It's When it dies, it makes another minion, which is always really helpful. I added the Scavenging Hyena that we picked up also. I've also added Lower Theb, our Sludge Belchers, and Makesner, which is actually a beast, so that's pretty sweet. And um, we've got our Starving Buzzard over here, but it's actually cost five mana now instead of uh, two mana, which is what which is what it used to cost. So it looks like it got the nerf back pretty hard. Um, <laughs> but I kind of want to get an, another Starving Buzzard in here, I think. We've got the Houndmaster in there. Oh, I've also added the Baron, which is going to make our minions death rattle twice. Seems like an epic combo with the Sludge Belcher. Um, so I kind of like that in there. And I kind of want to get Snipe in there. So I think I'm going to get Deadly Shot out of here. That thing's pretty freaking nasty. Let's drop a Razor Fen Hunter also. Get a second Snipe in there. Um, oh, do we, did we only have one Snipe? 
All right, well, we get the second starving buzzard in there. That's what I wanted to put in there. All right, my friends, that's looking pretty sweet. I'm quite happy with this deck. Let's see how it actually rolls in the advent in the Naxxramas adventure. Not entirely sure if it's going to be good enough to actually win any battles in uh, <laughs> in this single player thing, but we're going to give it a go, man. We've unlocked the military quarter, which is sweet. We can now open up the construct quarter, and uh, I think we could probably win the first battle with the hunter deck, but then I think we're going to have to switch back to our priest deck. It's a much more powerful deck. It's got way more rare cards in it and stuff. So, oh my goodness, look at that. That is a freaking... What do we win out of this thing? Undertaker, when you summon a, a minion with death rattle, gain plus one, plus one. That's pretty cool. Get a mad scientist out of this. A zombie chow. That looks pretty good too. Wailing soul. Silence your other minions. Three, five, four, four. That seems fairly decent. And what do we... What do we... Oh, we get two. We get two mythics. Or, or legendaries. We get Stalag and Fugan, 7-4. If Fugan also died this game, summon Thaddeus. If Stalag also died this turn, summon Thaddeus. Damn, I don't even know what Thaddeus is, but it sounds scary. Catwork is sewn together from adventurers who couldn't defeat Lawwalker Cho. <laughs> that is disgusting. We're, we're playing a freaking abomination, man. Damn. The massive abomination is Kalthazad's unstoppable avatar of war. Sweet. What is his hero power? Hateful Strike. Destroy a minion. Well, that seems a bit unfair. But we're going to use Cyberdog Hunters for this first battle. See if we can actually do anything. Um, I'm kind of nervous though, man. If his, <laughs> his hero power is destroy a minion. That's, uh... That's pretty strong. Versus work. He... Does he have five damage? What the jazz? Let the hunt begin. Well, we're starting this game with no acidic swamp oozes, so things are not looking good. Is that a five-eight equipment? We've got loath there, bro, and and an iron fur grizzly and an anim animal companion. This is actually a really good hand. I'm gonna just keep. It. And we start with a coin, so that, that's at least a help. Put, put this weapon into your hand. Um. <laughs> oh, this is Pudge. This is Pudge from Dodo. We're playing against Pudge. I'm going to slap the shrooms. Man, this is going to be a tricky game, people. All right, I'm going to play... Hmm. I think I'm just going to... I'm going to roll out with the River Crocolisk. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm start with the River Crocolus. So that next turn we can play Scavenging a Hyena. If he kills the Crocolus, then the Hyena will gain plus two plus one. At this stage, this is looking pretty bad though. It looks like we might have to stick um, our, our Acidic Swamp Goose back into our deck. Oh, he doesn't actually have any cards. All he has is the equipment and his hero power. Well, that should be pretty easy to defeat with Acidic Swamp Oozes in the deck, right? It doesn't look like he's attacking me at all, so I just want to get as much power onto the board as possible. <laughs> so I'm going to play Scavenging High Heat. Oh, already attacked. We're basically dead in three turns. So I think what we're going to have to do now is play Iron Fur Grizzly so we can get a taunt into play. Let's deal four damage to Pudge. Play Iron Fur Grizzly. I think we might be able to do this, guys. If we can pick up a Sludge Belcher, we're probably going to win this. Lothab ain't gonna do jazz in this, but it is a 5-5. Animal Companion can also make a Taunt Minion. We just need Taunt Minions now, people. Oh no! Oh, of course, he can use Hate to Strike. No more play. That pumps up our, uh, our Scavenging Hyena, though, so that's good. Another Iron for a Grizzly. It doesn't really help, though, because he can just Hero Power it. He can just kill it. I need to... Uh, basically, I need to play two Taunt Minions in one turn. I think what I need to do is play Houndmaster. Hmm. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna have to play Houndmaster and pump up my um one of my minions. Minion already attacked. Oh. Don't <laughs> that minion already attacked. Oh man. Fails! Epic fails! Alright, we got five mana. 
which means he's on 18, he's gonna take 10, 11, 12. Just not gonna be enough to kill him. Enemy spells, is this a spell? I didn't think that's a spell, right? I think we're doomed, my friends. I'm gonna summon a random companion. Do we get the taunt one? It's got charge, though. That's pretty good. Okay, Timberwolf's gonna pump up all of our beasts. We're gonna be able to deal a butt ton of damage, but just not right enough. Oh, man. Two, two damage off. Two freaking damage off, man. Pudge, you butthole. I think the Hunter deck is definitely the right deck for this particular battle, though. I don't think the Priest deck will be able to actually kill him fast enough. So let's just quickly tweak our uh, Hunter deck and get those Acidic Swamp users back in. Acidic. All right, we're going to get our Swamp users back in. I don't think we have enough time for, like, Lower Theft doesn't really do anything. Um, Baron Rivendare doesn't really do anything. Let's get the Swamp Oozers in there. And I think we, we need to go even deeper, man. Let's, like, get rid of Snipe. Die Wolf Alpha is, is really good. We can get we can actually get rid of all of our removal spells. Yeah, let's get rid of all of these removal spells. And we can stick in really cheap minions. Let's look for all of our beasts. Angry Chicken can go in there. Stone Tusk Boar can go in there. Young Dragon Hawk can go in there. Just any cheap ass beast is going in the deck. There we go, man. <laughs> Angry Chicken's gonna be kicking some ass. We've gotten rid of all of our removal spells because he doesn't have any minions. All right, there we go, man. Oops. Let's try this again. Pudge, I'm gonna take you down this time, my friend. Get your raggedy ass ready for a battle. This time you're going down to China freaking town. Hopefully we can uh, get the angry chicken going. <laughs> versus patchwork. I think I kind of want to like. I, I think the hunt begin. I think I want to mulligan into a swamp ooze. Is this thing indestructible? Maybe though. I'm gonna send all of these back, man. I'm gonna keep the crocolis, but I'm gonna send all of these expensive minions back. We need we need them dead before we can even play those things. There we go. That's better. And we pick up a swamp ooze. Wow. And a coin. Damn. Yeah, this thing is not indestructible, but I'm assuming you can play one every turn or something like that. Well, I'm gonna play a coin. Do I sw let, let's let's swamp use this thing, man? Job done. Hmm. I see. So you can't. Oh, okay. So okay, there we go. So if you kill the the weapon, you get one turn respite from attacks. Because now he's drawn the weapon, right? He's going to play the weapon again, I think. All right, that's awesome. Right, the Stone Tusk Ball's got charge. I'm gonna play that with the Timber Wolf. Get in five damage. And now we can turn on the aggro, man. Yeah, that's what I thought. He's gonna play another weapon. We bought ourselves a turn, though. It's actually pointless playing any um, taunt minions because they're just gonna die to his hero power. But we picked up another Stone uh, Tusk Ball with charge. Our strategy's working perfectly, people. Perfectly. Young and Dragonhawk has Wind Fury too. It's gonna de it's gonna deal six damage when it actually attacks. That's pretty ridiculous. Oh no, four damage. My bad. All right, let's get him for a butt ton of damage. Give that minion a Job turn done. to get ready. I think this still might be quite tight though. No more <laughs> Shut up, Pudge, you bottle. Two, four, seven, eight. Oh, another Acidic Swampies. That is like the perfect draw. Man, that is awesome. Take this, Pudge! Play Crocolisk. Attack for 2, 4, 
seven, eight, and Done. that swamp ooze has bought us a, a turn of respite. Oh no, never mind. He's still dead though. Sweet! Victory! Yes! Eat it, Pudge! Yes! Sweet! Oh, man. I feel I'm so proud of myself, man. With a little bit of deck tweaking, we managed to win that freaking battle. I should have sewn him together from better players. <laughs> oh man, epic victory. What do we pick up? Undertaker, when you summon a minion with death rattle, it gains, with death rattle, gain plus one plus one. That's awesome, yes. What an epic victory, man. Pudge, you've been taken down. Now, that hunter deck was pretty much designed to take on this minion or this uh, enemy. I don't know if that hunter deck is going to be good enough, good enough to beat Grobulus. Giants, you are test subject one. Grobulus was meant to be the first of an army of flesh giants. Damn! What is this hero power? Poison cloud. Deal one damage to all minions. Now that this is an exact reason why the hunter deck is going to be bad. Deal one damage to all minions. That if any die, summon a slime. That I mean, <laughs> the hunter deck is just going to get owned, right? We've got a whole bunch of one toughness minions. But before we take on that disgusting ass pile of goo, people, we need to adjust our priest deck. At the end of the last episode, if you remember, we got a whole bunch of um, silence minions into our deck to deal with uh, those horsemen. So we need to get rid of all of those freaking... those. I mean, they're really bad. Outside of that particular matchup, these silent minions are pretty bad, man. We've picked up another sludge belcher, though. So I'm going to get a, the second sludge belcher in there. Two sludge belches seems really good. We can keep one spell breaker, I think. I kind of want to get... Um, hmm. I want to get mind control back in here. Just one. What else did we take out? Oh, we also put a mind blast in here, didn't we? Yeah, we'll get that mind blast out of there. I want to keep the holy fire, though. That seems really sweet. Probably get Thought Steel back in. If that dude's dealing mass damage to all of our minions, I don't really want to get a whole bunch of minions in here. Hmm. What about Mind Vision? Or do, do we just go Mind Blast, man? Instead of like Divine Shield? Just go damage to the face? That could work. Maybe one Divine Spirit, one, uh, one Thought Steel. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Alright, man, let's take on this nasty ass freak of nature, man. Grobulus. Even the name is disgusting. What are the jazzes of Grobulus, anyway? Ugh. Undoing versus... Robulous. Where is its face? <laughs> the light shall bring victory. All right, let's have a look, guys. Well, we've got our injured blade master circle of healing combo in hand, so I'm happy with that. We've also picked up the holy fire. Six mana, though. Send that one back. Let's see if we can get a Northshire cleric up in here. Sludge Bulcher will do too, although it's a little bit expensive. But let's see how aggressive this guy is, man. Light spawn. I'm happy with that. I'm just going to send the turn back until turn three. I'm going to say hello. Greetings. Hey, bro. No, talk. Oh, yeah? Take this. <laughs> no talk. How rude. Well, we've got nothing to play until turn three. Echoing ooze. Oh, my God. What? That was disgusting. Summon an exact copy of this minion at the end of the turn. Man, that was so sweet. That that effect was so awesome. We picked up our Northshire Cleric, which is sweet, but I think I'm going to play Injured Blade Master and uh, Circle of Healing. Let's get some damage on the board, man. He's going to have to throw both of these uh, oozes at my Blade Master. Oh, and Dancing Swords draws us a card, so that's cool. He's, not, he's just ignoring the Blade Master, so I'm happy with that. 
Now, we could take out the Dancing Swords with Blade Master, which will draw us a card, and then, then we could play Northshire Cleric and heal up the Blade Master and draw another card. It seems strong. Hmm. Or we just go for the face. Go for the face and play Light Spawn. Maximize our mana. And then next turn we can play Sludge Belcher. And then we can play Northshire Cleric because uh, Northshire Cleric will be safer behind Sludge Belcher. Yeah, that, that sounds like a plan. Northshire Cleric is going to be our card drawing engine in this game, so we've got to try and preserve it. This butthole's making a ronkulous amount of disgusting ass slimes though. And coming in for quite a lot of damage. Oh my goodness. Are you done? <laughs> where, where is Holy Nova when you need it, right? I mean, we might have to start taking out some of these freaking minions. One, two, three, four, five, six damage. Ten damage coming across next turn. If we play Sludge Belcher now, though, that's going to slow things down quite a lot. We can get in for nine. And hide behind Sludge Belcher. He's going to have to throw away at least two minions. Oh, no, no. The sword won't die. But we definitely preserved a bit of life there. He's on 17. I mean, he's almost dead. Alright, two damage to uh, our Sludge Belcher. We're gonna get another Court Minion though. Slam! Deal two damage to Minion if it's... A okay, same, same business again. Well, we managed to preserve some life there. This thing's on one. Hmm. I think I'm gonna Holy Smite this thing so I can draw a card. That's a really cheap draw a card, man. That's epic. Huh. Now, we've got five mana left. I kind of want to heal up the light spawn. Power with, um... Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six damage coming in. Right, if we play Northshire Cleric, one mana, heal, three mana, Power Word Shield, four mana. It's not quite maximizing the use of our mana, but it'll make our light spawn really big. So I'm gonna do that, man. Cleric, heal up the light spawn, draw a card. Ooh, awesome. Picked up another Northshire Cleric, that's epic. I'm gonna hold it in hand though. In case he has like a sweeper or something. Then I'm gonna Power Word Shield this thing. Oh, and we picked up a Mind Blast. That's just perfect. Seven to the face. Six to the face. You know what? I'm actually going to play the Cleric. Because we might have to get one more point of damage in next turn so that we can end the game with the Mind Blast. Oh, man. Sweet. What we oh, no. Well, at least the damage is going to the Clerics and not to my face, right? And all of his Swamp Oozes are dying. See, this is this is why, man. This is exactly why I played that Northshire Cleric. Because now... Hmm. Yes! Now we kill the Abomination. Even though it nukes the board. We win the game! Yes! Epic victory! Man, that was awesome! And I'd like to say, I think I played that pretty well. Back to the in, fact, I, in fact, I don't think I made a mistake. If, if, that, if that is even believable. I know that sounds like a crazy-ass, far-fetched idea. But I think that may, that may have been a flawless victory. <laughs> we defeated Grobulus and picked up some mad scientists. Put a secret from your deck into the battlefield. Hey, that seems pretty good for the hunter. Anyway, guys, that was awesome, man. And that's all the time we have for today, man. We cracked some packs. We defeated some freaking Nax Ramus heroes. And we've only got one more to defeat to finish off this, this uh, construct quarter. And then we've just got one more quarter to go. And then this adventure is over, man. Oh, epic. Just the Frostworm layer left after we do this one. 
and our next opponent Move is Glass. Our leftover Damn. zombies. Come to think of it, you would make a pretty good leftover zombie. <laughs> well, guys, I hope that you will join me for the next Hearthstone episode when we're going to be taking up, uh, taking up. A, a, Well, guys, I hope you will join me for the next Hearthstone episode where we will be taking on Gluff, the rotting pile of dog goo. And hopefully we can win, man. Really had a good time tonight, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for freaking watching. If you enjoyed it, you hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. It's been Ren Diggity Dog slinging some freaking cards. And we will see you in the next video.